What's up, Power? Today is Tuesday, August 29th, 2023. It's your boy, Jarrett McAllister, the virtual solar pro, alongside my man, Jonathan Bernasso, and don't forget Mr. Tom Cotter. What's up, gentlemen? How you doing? Grand rising. Good morning. Good morning. Good, good, good. Hey, just a quick reminder, if you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and share it with your fellow solarpreneurs. Um, man, can I just say how excited I am today? Started off by trying on my new tuxedo for the Black Tie Gala event next Power Friday. World. Power Power convention. Up. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be good. Good times. Can't wait to see you guys all in person next week. It is going to be epic. So really looking forward to that. Tom, when are you flying in? I fly in uh, the 5th, Tuesday. So one week from today, I will be on a flight from Kansas City to San Diego. You know what? Same here. Yeah, I'll be flying in Tuesday. I think right around this time. So but Bernasso, since he's just going to be there, I think he'll just run the whole show on Tuesday for himself. What do you guys think about that? Well, <laughs> VIP day is Wednesday, and I'll be driving in from Vegas to SoCal and then SoCal to San Diego. So can't okay. wait. We'll out. Cannot wait. Cannot wait. Well, hey, gentlemen, let's um let's kick this thing off. Let's get it going. Rock and roll to some success stories. We got a killer training for you guys this week. Um if you have a success story, just like every week, go ahead, raise your hand, throw it in the chat. I personally, I want to share a success story, if I may. I want to give a shout out to Claire. I'm going to put Foglia, Foglia. Sorry if I butchered the last name. She is a tier one rock star out of Vegas who just completed her first sale last night with me. And we'll be quickly jumping to tier two as soon as I send that resume in. Because as you know, with power, you have a year's worth of solar experience. You do one with a mentor, you're off to the races. Um, she actually owns a solar company, but loves our platform. Um, and, you know, how where we're able to, our broad reach, right, our market. So she took advantage of it, got it in there. Probably see a quick turnaround install there in Vegas. So shout out to Claire. And then I want to give a huge shout out to my boy, my homie, who's on the call right here, Mr. Wes Crone down in Hemet. Um, Wes, I've known for over uh, yeah, about 25 years. He actually reached out to me last year to get solar because he saw all the NEM2, NEM3 craziness, uh, said, man, can you hook me up? I did, loved it, got super excited. And then he said, bro, I got to get on this. So he wanted to start selling solar. Last night completed his tier one certification. He's going to uh, attending Power World next week. Wes, why don't you hop off mute for a second? Say what's up to the crowd. I want to know how many leads you're going to close next month, Wesley. What's your goal? <laughs> my goal is to just get the first one, man, and get my feet wet. And it, that's uh, I keep it simple, keep it small, and build from there, man. I'm super excited. Like Jared said, um, I was fortunate enough to be a, a customer um, before joining the platform. So I, I was super impressed. Uh, the whole, the whole process was smooth. It was fantastic. The installers were great. Uh, the project managers were great. And I just wanted to be a part of it, man. And, uh, I'm very, very blessed to know Jarrett and, and have him to give me this opportunity and walk me through it. And, you know, hopefully it's as life changing as it looks. Love it. Welcome, Wesley. California is a great market. Rates are through the roof. It's the summertime right now. Uh, once you taste a few thousand dollars just from one lead, Jarrett does all the work. You'll learn while you're doing it. It's going to be amazing. So welcome. Thank you. A quick fun fact about Wes. When mid-2000s, when I was like 14 years old, at the end of a rave, his older brother actually adopted me and took me back to his house. He's like, you can live at my house. And I uh, lived my freshman year at his house in Pleasant Hill, California. So right. just quick fun fact there. <laughs> Any others? I just want to give a shout out to somebody real quick here, Craig Bloom, who is in Maryland. Love uh, Craig. He's working with uh, Bill Conley who's in uh, Northern California. Craig is uh, a new tier three on the platform and he really stepped up this last weekend. So they held the first Power Day event in Maryland and Craig Bloom, Emmett Summers and Bobby Smith teamed up 
and Craig rented a, a Ritz Carlton out there. And uh, it was, I'm just so proud of, uh, of Craig and these guys uh, for kind of leading the way on the East coast in Maryland was, uh, was a historic event. And Bill actually flew out, you know, from California to be out there in, uh, in Baltimore. So beautiful venue too, out on the water. So uh, good stuff. So congratulations guys. That's epic. I mean, let's just appreciate that community, the in-person events. We can fly to other states. We can build teams. We can invite people to those events and build our business. I mean, I don't know where else that exists, guys. So uh, just, you know, big gratitude for all the leaders and everyone that steps up that makes this platform the best in the industry. It really does. And I just got to give a huge shout out to Craig. That guy absolutely crushes LinkedIn social media. Like mm -hmm. that guy is on there all day long. He's always got that big smile on there. He's interacting with customers. He's a go-getter, absolute fire. Great job, Craig. Very Not cool. Anybody quiet. else would like to share something? Do you have one, Jonathan, you'd like to share? Yeah, a little quiet today. You know, I'll just uh, I'll just notate that Power last night had our Power Hour, 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 Eastern, and then Jonathan Budd dropped some nuggets. He basically explained what it took to be on the Inc. 5000 list four years in a row. And the number one thing, type it in the chat if you remember, the number one thing it takes to be on the Inc. 5000, that's right, Jason, commitment, committing yourself to a brand new platform, a decentralized model, only three and a half years in. Yes, there'll be challenges, but the platform gig economy, the Uber, Amazon, we, we can be limitless. And we're barely in the infancy of doing that. So I'll share the uh, the Inc. 43 article with you all. And, you know, take some time to post it on social media, share it. It's quite an accomplishment being Public Benefit Corporation, be certified. Uh, Power emailed some information to you all about this as well. So definitely be proud of that and share it. We are the nation's fastest growing nationwide solar company four years in a row on the Inc. 5000 list. So props to all of you making it happen and the commitment and dedication. Yeah, yeah, it was a good one. Always, always fun when we get a, a little peek into Jonathan Budd's brain about his vision of where he sees this headed. So always uh, motivating and inspiring. Tom, why don't you take it away with Tom's power perspective of the week. Thank you, Jonathan. Uh, I had the pleasure of being involved in a film that that actually won Best Documentary Short at Cannes Film Festival. And it's the story of a guy named Jadav Payang, who since the 1970s has been planting trees in order to save his island. Um, so it's been planting seeds and seedlings for a lot of years. And, you know, he has single-handedly planted a 1,400 acre forest, which for scale is larger than Central Park in New York City. So this, this forest that has grown from his little actions, little plantings, um, has completely transformed, or even to use a big word, terraformed, what was once a barren wasteland into a pretty lush oasis. And animals have come back. Um, this island is the largest river island in the world. It's uh, in India. So the perspective that I just wanted to leave you with today is that little regular actions can have a compound effect growing into some pretty significant transformation. Now this can be in your business, your skills, your knowledge, your relationships, your health. Um, I posted on Facebook this last week that uh, this little statistic that a one third of a 1%, so one third of a 1% daily improvement over a year equals to a 100% transformation. So I'll post the link to uh, this short film in the comments in the chat. But uh, if you watch this film, you know, my hope is that Jadav's simple but inspiring 
life sparks some inspiration to greater good in your, your own life, he's really an ordinary guy who accomplished something extraordinary through regular small actions. Uh, title of the film is The Forest Man on YouTube, if you're watching this later, and it's the one that has over 7 million views. Thanks, Jonathan. Back to you. Thanks, Tom. Great reminder, as always, the little steps, 1% better per day. You know, I heard a quote, like, even if we just read a topic for 18 minutes a day for a year, we'd be smarter than 95% of people on that topic. Maybe you taught us that. Uh, so great, great, great reminder, Tom. Appreciate it. All right. Thank you, Jared. Thank you, Tom. I just have one or two things to share before we move into our two amazing trainers. And honestly, it was part of a special request as well um, from you guys. So just a reminder, Power Convention is September 7th through 9th in Carlsbad. Um, go to powerconvention.com to go ahead and uh, check that out or buy a ticket. Also, I'll put- Tom, Are you trying to share your screen? No, not sure? today. Okay, all right. Just double check. Yeah. Thank you, though. Um, so make sure to go to Power Convention. We're going to see you all next week. I put some trainings into the chat. Uh, recently, we did a training with Danny Pessy. I shared my story building with Bobby. We did a CEO interview with Jonathan Budd. And if you're in California, the Renewable Rebellion Roundtable. So some pretty epic, heavy trainings that have been done the last few weeks, guys. So Try to add that to your drive or your podcast or your gym session. Um, listen to those if you're if you're into that. Speed it up to 1.2, 1.5 speed. Crank through it even faster. Highly recommend getting into the habit uh, for that. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn it over to our two amazing trainers today. Like I said, partly on a popular demand. You know, someone asked recently, like, how does a husband and wife, you know, couple partners work together? And this couple I've came to meet once or twice. I can't wait to see them next week. They've brought their experience, their background, their prior companies, their prior teams they've built. They brought that knowledge and energy and motivation and skills to power. And that's important to know. They leverage those things. They've they know how to make money and they've brought that here. They're one of the best builders, recruiters, team builders in the company. And they're just an amazing duo with high energy. They're both both badasses in their own right. Uh, so with that, let's go ahead and give Rob and Raisa a big welcome to our Tuesday Solar Warrior Tribe Power Hitters training. Guys, go ahead and take it away. Thank you so much. Super appreciate it. Thank you, Jonathan. Thank you, Jared. Jared's getting ready. I see you on the trend. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Tom. Um, as always, really look up to you guys, inspired by everything that you guys do. And speaking about convention, you know, last year we were one of those in the crowd and really saw a lot of you guys having a lot of success. And we really made the decision that day. Um, I looked at my husband, I said, You ready to build this? And he was like, let's go. So we're super excited to share with you guys today. Uh, thank you so much for having us. Rob, do you want to say anything before of we course. start? Of course. Huge, huge shout out to everybody here. You know, um, you guys paved the way for us. You guys have been here and seen the growing pains of the company. And, and we're all pioneers now, you know, here. And I, I thank you guys for me and my wife um, for the warm welcome into the company from the beginning. Um, it's been a blessing. Uh, we we appreciate all you guys have poured into us in one way or another. Um, so we're super grateful to be able to pour back, you know, from things that we've been able to accomplish and learn utilizing the platform because we we live that power life now. We watched the the videos and everything a year or so ago, and, and to to be going back to this convention now um, as a leader and you know alongside of some of the greats in the company, we're just super grateful for it. Yeah, so we're super excited because, as Jonathan said, this was kind of uh, one of those things that people were asking about, one of those topics, and inclusively, we we went back and forth on a post on Facebook, and people really want to know, you know, how can you build this business together, either as a couple or as a married couple, you know? Um, we have the privilege, Rob and I, to 
have met in our previous company. So a little bit of background, we actually met in our previous company as complete strangers. He was building his business in the same company and right. we became really, really good friends. And, you know, one thing led to another and now we're married. <laughs> but in that business, we we really needed to learn how to build our businesses and unfortunately, in that business, we ran into the situation where we had to build our businesses together, but separate. But separate. Um, so in, in power, it really not allowed us to unite the efforts and make it a lot easier. And that's what we want to share with everyone today. Is it easy? No, um, but it's definitely worth doing. And we're going to be able to prove to you guys today that um, basically, you know, all of the success that you see us having has really been a team effort uh, on both of our ends, you know, being able to share with each other strengths, weaknesses. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen and then we can kind of get right into it. So the topic today is obviously power couples. I, I love it, right? Because we always, everyone always says power couples, power couples. Um, So we're going to make our own spin on it on the power Very couples. How, like to work, <laughs> how to work your business uh, together. And, you know, this is something that I think Rob and I, obviously, like I said, it, it, it's a lot. There's a lot that goes to it, a lot that goes behind the scene and a lot that we really want to share with you guys today. Um, so how do you work a business together? So if you're considering either starting this business or, you know, hitting the reset button today uh, with your partner, uh, what is that going to look like? You know, there's five important things that you really need to have a common ground on. And, you know, I remember last year at convention, I looked at Rob, I'm like, are you ready to build this? And we kind of knew that these five things, you know, are factored into that. And there was a lot of conversations that needed to be had. But one of them, and I think one that power really uh, instilled in us at convention was how do we align common goals and a common business and relationship? Um, you know, I remember looking at Rob and going through the Pachimama Alliance and just really saying, wow, you know, we really have to align ourselves to what the actual mission and, and vision is of the company, but then actually align that to our relationship and our goals. And I think, I think this is huge, um, when sitting down, um, and we're going to be talking about goals, obviously a little bit more in depth, establishing the boundaries and open communication, I'm telling you guys, that's been the hardest part. You know, there's some times where uh, business spills over to personal. <laughs> it happens. <laughs> you can be upset at your spouse for one thing in the business and it just spills over. And so we've kind of established some boundaries like, hey, this is work. This is work. Um, this is personal, personal. And be able to have that open communication, um, especially, you know, we just went through a very intense personal development program, which allowed us to really uh, communicate even a lot better 10X right now. So we're currently always expanding within the business, but outside of it, how we can actually communicate better, not only with our teams, but with each other. Focusing on one thing at a time. Uh, this is really hard. I am a multitask, you know, I'm always multitasking, uh, trying to do a hundred things. And we really would have to sit there and say, what is our main focus? for right. this week, for this day. And I think you could talk a little bit about that, hun. Like sometimes, you know, there, one week we'll focus on recruiting and then the next week we focus on actually, you know, doing a lot of homeowner presentations and how we accomplish that. All right. And so again, like going back to aligning with the mission, you know, we, we came back from that convention and, and meeting Jonathan and, uh, you know, Jonathan and Chris Bronasso and some of the leaders and, and you know, they, they really inspired us to, to learn more um, and become more aligned with the company. Like a lot of people are in power, but it's, it's power in you, right? We have to get power in us um, and align ourselves with that mission. And we were both on board with that, you know, um, even with the family, not only us, with the kids, right? Our, our parents, letting them know that this is a mission that, that we're going to be on. It's a journey for the next couple of years to really make an impact. Um, and those boundaries are important because there are days that, you know, uh, as the business husband and then the husband like uh and, and it's not it's not always easy but we do we do well at being aware of keeping that separate 
you know, um, and if it does happen, which it does, it does happen where those things spill over, but it's just, you know, get, getting back to the number one, back to the alignment. You know, what is this, what is this about? Um, and focusing on one thing, this is big. Like all, us as entrepreneurs is, you know, we're always thinking about what's the next move and in the next webinar, the next mentor deal that we have going on. So, you know, being able to really combine and, and, and get together on each other's schedules and really map it out, you know, really have a target um, to be able to focus on these things and focus on it till it's completed, you know, and then move over to the next task. And um, that's something that I feel like we've been able to strengthen with them working together on that. Yeah. And also, we're going to be talking a little bit of, about identifying strengths and weaknesses uh, to define your roles. We all have strengths and weaknesses. I mean, as teams, uh, that's how we operate. As leaders, we try to identify what those are within our teams. And so we do the same within our relationship. You know, it's not right or wrong or I'm better or he's or she's better. It's just mm -hmm. about identifying what we're truly strong at naturally. And I think that that's really huge when you're able to identify that and then supporting each other. I can't say this enough. There's going to be good days and bad days in business. Oh, it's, yeah. just a, it's just the way that it is, right? And having that person to support you and say, you know, um, I know I've had my days where I'm like, oh my God, I didn't do enough or I didn't get things done. And to have someone pick you up and say, but you are, you know, look at yesterday, you did this and look at what you've done and look at what we've accomplished. Having someone bring that perspective in it just means it just means everything and and being able to say all right you know we'll just pick it up back tomorrow yeah i, I say it's like uh having a battery backup for your for your spot <laughs> you know so My some energy. days some days the energy is low and you got to be the battery to to pick them <laughs> back up and vice versa and you know it's uh it's important energy is big and it it can take you a long way or it can stop you too so uh, it's it's good to be able to support each other. And we're I'm my wife's biggest fan, you know. Like I, I'm here to support her and the team um, to be able to be at the highest level possible, you know. So big goals. Go ahead, honey. Yeah. So going back to the goals, um, one of the things that you want to do is again align your future vision as a couple. Um, and when we set goals, we set them as a family. Like, yeah. you know, I know everybody has their individual vision boards and things that they want and things like that. But I think as a couple, it's very important to know exactly what's the goal, what's the mission, um, what, what are we trying to accomplish together? And then more importantly, getting the family to buy in on that. Make sure not only that we buy into the goal, but that our kids and our family know our mission and our goals as well. And it allows us to really streamline our personal relationship with our business relationship. Our kids know if we're working on something and we're in the office, they're like, they're on Zoom calls. They're not coming out of there for a few hours, but yeah. they do know that that comes with how they're able to live, with how we're able to do the things when we do take those days off and you know, once they understand that, that's pretty much having their buy-in, um, especially when we lock in in certain ways. Yeah. So I really want to touch on this, babe, because I feel like this really helped us a lot. Yeah, um, yeah. In the previous business, like I said, our business was kind of separate, but together. So it was kind of, we, we could find ourselves in friction often. And even when being transparent, when we started Power, we were operating in that same way. And I said oh. to him one day, I said, you know, we really need to communicate everything, you know, networking events. You know, yeah. if you got to pick up the kids, if I got to pick up the kids, like, again, we're working a, a business together. And what really helped us, if this helps anyone as a tip, was combining our calendars. So yeah. obviously we have our own individual Gmail calendars. We have our Calendly, which is just one Calendly for both of us. But the Gmail made a big difference because, for instance, um, I was part of BNI, and then Rob is part of Chamber of Commerce. Right. I'm part of another networking group for for women in in the Tampa Bay area, and so oftentimes, you know, you communicate it with your partner; they hear you, but they don't hear you. All right. <laughs> <laughs> they just don't remember. Be like, hey, remember I got that thing tomorrow. And one of the things that helped us so much was combining and sharing each other's calendar. So when we look at our calendar for the day, um, his events are on there and mine are on there. So we're able to see exactly wh what we're doing within the day. And it really helps us plan, 
you know, other things, like let's say we want to include an onboarding or if we want to do a, a presentation or a training, or if we want to work on slides together, we are able to identify those gaps in times to be able to do that. I want I want to be completely transparent. Can we do that? <laughs> Can we be completely transparent out here? Guys, look, this is, comes with the strengths and weaknesses too, right? Uh, the way I used to run my business, I wasn't as organized. My schedule was all over the place. And that's something that we always struggled with well, on my end, right? Because uh, I would I would go and they'll lead into another call. Then I meet somebody in person and I'm doing a webinar. Then my life was just 110 miles an hour. So being able to get this into play has helped me become more organized, which in the back end, we've been able to close more business. You know, we've been able to grow, you know, uh, achieving more towards that family goal and and then now it's more understanding. There are days that my wife is going to be networking at an event and I'm going to be home watching the kids, getting the dinner ready. And then, you know, that Thursday night, it might be vice versa. I'm over here at a chamber of commerce event or a red ribbon cutting and we can't go. And, and there's a lot of times that we go together because we get to, you know, uh, network and create that energy together wherever we go. But there are days and sacrifices that have to be made, but it's all towards the same goal. So the communication, when it comes to the calendar, it was a big, because now I would get all my emails. I would see the emails that were coming in for the business. And I'm a uh, an extra set of eyes for my wife as well. So anything that she didn't see, I can see, you know, and then, hey, oh, did you schedule this? So now going back to supporting each other, hey, did you schedule this on the calendar? Did you schedule? And it used to frustrate the crap out of me. I was like, oh my God, I got to schedule everything. I got to put everything on the calendar. I forgot. Calendar to save his life. Oh, man. So that's why I said it was a transparent moment. Some of y'all can relate to me and y'all not telling, y'all not sharing. It's okay. I'm, I'm, everyone in the chat. Stuff. Everyone in the chat. <laughs> So yeah, as organized with y'all calendar as y'all want to be, or y'all tell yourselves that you are. I was really not that. So again, uh, that was a weakness of mine that I've worked on and now it's becoming more of a strength. But this is a huge, a huge part of working together is uh the scheduling and communication. Yeah. Yeah. So this was a huge one for us. I feel like once we did that, it really alleviated a lot of the you know, the, the stress around what are you doing? What are you doing? What are we doing? What are we doing with the kids? Um, yeah. So the strength and weaknesses conversation, uh, this is the one that I feel is the most important. The best business partners can really identify what their strengths and weaknesses are. And I feel like me and Rob have done really well at this and establish a system in which we use each other's strengths to support the other's weakness. So I was good at the Gmail calendar, right? <laughs> he wasn't. All right, well, let's combine them and mm -hmm. let's let's just make sure that we're on the same page. So again, this is where you can identify and balance the individual skill set to successfully run a business. And here are some examples of tasks within obviously our business and all, and you know, on here is just business, but obviously the personal task, we'll talk about that as well. But example, who is the strength in recruiting, right? Obviously we're really both good recruiters, uh, but I'm more of an online presence and my husband is like an in-person. So yeah. we're able to say, okay, this is an in-person event. You go to this one. Cause I know you're going to collect everybody's phone number there. All right. That's this is, right. you know, this is a social media thing. I could deal with the social media. Uh, business presentations, you know, are we doing them together separately? It oftentimes we do them together, but sometimes there's times we do them separately. Yep. Homeowners presentations, there's we've had a lot more success, honest, just being transparent, is when we do them together. Um, yep. a lot of the homeowner presentations are with with couples, and seeing mm -hmm. another a couple on the other side gives you know we're able to have that woman and man perspective yeah. when it comes to the actual uh sale as well so it has helped us tremendously to do that but there are some times that time doesn't allow and we do them separately and we make that decision you know who does the seller onboarding who deals with team training event promotion content creation who looks at the emails project management, uh, admin tasks, business banking, you know, that's, that's a big one. Uh, building business credit, who's dealing with that market development. We are part of Florida market development. We're part of Connecticut and math market development. We are on leadership council. 
So there's just so much that goes on behind the scenes. Um, seller coaching calls, we do individual seller coaching calls, discovery calls, and even self-personal development. How do we divide these things out? And we'd be able to to identify what what those strengths and weaknesses are. Do you want to touch on this? Yeah, I think, um, you know, letting people know, obviously, uh, like you said, strength and weaknesses. We, we, me and my wife know who's, you know, an online recruiter, offline. We both have the skills to do both, but I'm stronger in person. Like, I am the person that you put in the room that I know everybody, and I find out everybody's story before I leave, and I got all their contact information, and boom, that's, and, and it just comes naturally to me. Right. And then online, my wife does extremely well doing the same thing virtually. So we get to touch on both ends, you know, and, and nothing's being left on the table. So it's important to just be aware of those strengths and weaknesses and embrace them. You know, sometimes we say, like, oh, man, you don't do well here or you don't do well. No, don't go look at the negative. Look at what we're good at. If you're good at three pointers, go to the three point line so I can pass you the ball and make three points. Right. Like it's a it's a uh, team sport. So going into homeowner presentations, this is in person or online. And it's been very successful because, uh, again, to be transparent and my wife being a female in solar, right? Some guys want to get, you know, intimidating and, and this and that because there's a woman on the line or vice versa. When you have that, that support as a couple, they got a husband and wife or it's just that one person. You got two people on this end that know exactly what they're talking about and they're already successful in the industry and just being genuinely helpful, it's it's a lot easier to close those. We've seen such a difference in doing that. So sometimes just having that support system with you and they feel like they have that support as well. You know, so uh, seller onboarding, we there's a lot of different things like, uh, you know, being able to train the team. We do a lot of the trainings together. We try to do as much of this together as possible because, Two brains are better than one. You know, she has her uh, uh, perspective on something I do. We bring our best to the table and bring like this, this hybrid um, in order for the team to grow too. So, and then again, where where I'm, I suck with the emails. Like we used to fight about this stuff all the time. Again, it's practice on it. There'll be days that I'm working on the emails. I'm working on project management because she's handling uh, an event locally. So it's just, again, going back to that communication and the scheduling and, you know, trying to trying to support each other and whatever task is on, on the list right there. So, Yeah, and then, you know, we have to also know that we do have a personal life behind it all. Yeah. And it really, I think, that, I think that when you identify that and are able, it's easy to be consumed by the business, but it's important to maintain a balance with your partner and your family and date nights. So I don't know how we do it all. To be honest, people say, how do you guys do it all? Like we're part of so much behind the scenes. We're like in a hundred chats. I know Jonathan, you, Tom, Jerry, you guys can relate. Yeah, can hundred relate. chats, this, that, just trying to keep up with everything. And being able to also, and when you think about a home dynamic, we also have to split the tasks and the household, how we run our family. So yeah. we've basically taken how we run our business and have been able to put that into our family life. Like, hey, you got the kids today? Cool. You picking them up today? Cool. You're doing dinner today? Cool. And it has really helped us with our business because now we're able to to work with having that alleviation and having support. So to those out there that feel like it's hard, it's hard, it's hard with work with your partner, it it's really not. If you if you have it come to a common ground, align the goal, and then are able to say, and, and you know what the beauty is, I think with me and Rob is that we know how to do everything, even though we separate it we know how to do everything. So an example is emergencies happen. So I'll be like, hey, I can't make it to this homeowner presentation. Can you handle it? And I know he's going to handle it right. and, and be able to close that. Or I can't make it to onboard this seller. Can you do it for me? And that has been you know, super beneficial because things do happen. Um, yeah. I wanted to definitely uh, mention that. So the same way we run our business, same way we run our personal um, and and um, that's just, you know, been beneficial for us. So we also host everything as much as we can together. Um, so this means power days. You always see us on flyers together. We host our power days together. 
Um, we've done radio shows, podcasts together. Yeah. We do income opportunity, you know, uh, presentations once a week for our team together, our solar trainings together. So it's really feel, feeling out a dynamic on how you can actually do this together and have fun with it. Like we have so much fun with the presentation and the podcast and we have even more fun on the power days and, and really split the task. So it really alleviates the pressure. I think it's a, it's a good time too. And it really, it's just an example to show people that it can be done. You know, um, there's a lot of people that struggle with this in business a lot like that, that, you know, um, they don't know how to be able to, to combine, you know, being a spouse and being a, a business owner together and, you know, us sharing the task and just pushing each other too. Cause at one point me and Lysa weren't presenters. <laughs> we didn't, we didn't do presentations. We didn't go in front of rooms to speak to people. This has been a journey. Like as a couple, we've, I, I used to be behind every webinar she did checking how many times she ummed on her calls. This like just, huge support to see each other grow and be the best versions of ourselves in business. Now my wife can speak on stages in front of thousands of people. We could do it together. We could do it individually because we've trained each other and helped each other grow to be able to perform at a high level. If it is on an interview for the radio, if it is training new agents in the business, if it is, and remember, we're still new to the industry. So we're still learning a lot every day from all, as we all should, we're all students, but having, being able to support each other in the way that we do it, it, it really shows an example to a lot of the couples like, look, they're, they're out here. You know, we are parents too. We are also sons and daughters to parents. So we have parents that we take care of as well. A lot of people don't know that. So like, being able to differentiate and give everyone that time. We all got the same 24 hours in a day, but we're breaking it down in that schedule, communicating, hey, look, this is some time with our parents, some time with our kids, some time to ourselves, which rarely happens sometimes, but we have to make that happen. Um, and then again, we get to have fun. Like these networking events right here, like, you know, being on the radio together, uh, you know, networking event, chamber of commerce events and BNI events. Sometimes I get to sneak in as a guest. Sometimes I get to back her up as a BNI guest. I don't like to do that as much because I gotta wake up early. So that one I don't really like. But sometimes I do things that we don't like, right? To uh to get things that people don't have. So uh go ahead, babe. If you want to touch something on the networking. Yeah, so networking for us is fun. So we try really? to like that. Like we try to like incorporate when, when we're able to do these and, you know, we have someone to watch the kids. It's like a date night for us. Like, yeah, yeah we're, we're doing business, but, you know, you always see me with a little glass of something. <laughs> um, <laughs> being able to just say, you know, hey, we're here, we're present, we're present for our business and we're present together. And so whenever the opportunity comes, it's, it's definitely something to do. So. Basically, what it boils down to is when we operate our business, it's not I, right? It's us, it's ours, it's we. And we come together as one. And that's what we really want to show people is that you can do it. Again, we it was very difficult for us at the beginning uh, to be able to to define what that was, what you know, telling each other strengths and weakness without the other person getting offended, right? Yeah. Because nobody wants to admit that you have a weakness <laughs> um but when you're able to identify like hey you're stronger at this i'd rather you do this yeah. um hey you know you're better at this so you do this seamlessly and that's i think that has been the biggest thing sharing our calendars and we wanted to share that because i feel like there's so much more potential for so many other power couples to be able to take this opportunity and take it to the next level and one other thing I wanted to mention is, you know, so, some of the spouses that are on this call are not involved in the company, like how me and you are, you know, we're both fully involved in the business and the mission. If they're a part of power, like that's one thing about, I feel that we do well is that we incorporate our family in this. Like if you are an agent or not in the company, like you have my husband or wife, what, whoever you are for that person, you're involved you know and sometimes you're keeping them from being involved too so i want you know that's something that maybe some of you have to take back and be like hey i need to involve my wife more 
I need to involve my husband more. Maybe they have some strengths that I don't have that can help us make money in our household and help the planet together, right? That's what this is about. So there's there's a lot of times that we see ourselves in those those conversations. It takes grown-ups to have these combos, right? It takes uh, some some maturity to have that conversation with your husband or wife to be like, hey, these are some things that we need to work on together as a team. I want to see you grow here. I know I can grow here. Together, we'll be able to grow even more and, and you know, and scale it. Um, so I'm excited. You know, I'm, I'm grateful for the opportunity to bring this because this this is needed in a lot, not just solar and business, period, life, period. Um, just a lot of communication and, you know, letting the egos to the side. I got a strong wife. She's got a strong husband, you know, in business, personal, um, as parents. But just being able to figure that that um that there's no perfect combination. It isn't. You know, it's just really putting the pieces to the puzzle together. Um, and then it looks it looks good in the end for sure. <laughs> so thank you so much for having us, guys. I hope this was value, valuable to all the other power couples that are up and coming. And we just wanted to share and transparently give you guys what has helped us have success on this platform. Thank you, Jonathan, Tom, and Jared. Appreciate you guys, man. Wow. That was epic, everyone. If you got some nuggets, please uh, give some praise in the chat there. Uh, that was that was awesome. You can tell why they're so dialed and so successful to have that emotional maturity, that communication, alignment, support of each other. Like, damn, damn, damn. Networking events, who's strong at what, the words you use. I mean, there's a lot of nuggets in there, guys. Um, just even just general relationship stuff. So I have one or two questions. We'll see if some people type into the chat. Any questions as well or raise their hand. I know we have you for a few more minutes here, but someone asked what uh, calendar do you guys like to use? What calendar system or service? Just the, the calendar. Oh, we, we, uh, we use Gmail. Does that is that what oh. they're asking? Google yeah. Calendar. Okay. And do you guys use yeah. like Calendly or you can book me yeah. or something? Mm -hmm. sure. Google Calendar. And so there is a way to, you know, add yourself to a calendar. So like example, you're able to subscribe to the Power Calendar, right? And have all that on your calendar. So yeah. we've kind of subscribed to each other's. So uh -huh. when we open our calendar, basically anything that he has, I see, I'm able to click his calendar and have it present at all times. So if he adds something, it automatically syncs with mine. Oh, and if I add something, it'll automatically sync with his. And so that way he'll, before uh, anything, like, hey, that, I got a massage at this time. Good look, it, it's so serious that I had to, I, I will have to schedule the dates. You know, I, I'll, I'll fill in, I'll probably link into her calendar as an agent recruit. Yeah. To oh, get like hey, yeah, you gotta get to that, <laughs> that cuddle romantic time. That's you it. Really That's, have it. Done that. That's the only way to get me to I stop. schedule an appointment. <laughs> if I could just speak to the calendar for one second, first of all, Rob, I feel you 100%, bro. I was so bad with the calendar. Bro, like, so bad. I kept it all upstairs, right? Upstairs, that's and, it. And that's a mess. That's a mess. Not even just without your spouse, just in general in business. All right. The second that I got into the habit of putting everything on the calendar because I, in the morning, it's like, look at the calendar. What do we have going on? Then I could focus on those tasks. Number yeah. two, though, I feel you guys so hard, you know, with my wife, we have three children, uh -oh. so much going on. Um, and she know she it's the moment that we put our calendars together, subscribe to each other's calendars. That was a game changer for mm -hmm. all of us because communication, as we all know in the business, whether it's with the project manager, your customer, yeah. it sure the hell is with your spouse, right? right. And so right. communication is everything. If it's not on the calendar, it ain't going on. I've made it's the mistake fine. of slipping something, not putting it on the calendar. My wife got on my ass. She was like, oh, bro, I, you I don't even know, know about this. <laughs> it's not on the calendar. It's not, it's on, the not calendar. on the calendar. Yeah. And, and, and then the other thing I would say is, is, you know, that personal time. In the beginning, and I, I and I want to ask you about your guys' ritual, but yeah, my wife and I make it a point. We're up at 6 a.m. I make coffee the night before. I got the pot going, right? So 6 a.m., coffee's ready. We go down, drink our water, we grab our coffee, we sit in the living room, and we chat. 
right? That's our morning time. When you have kids, it's hard to have that yeah. personal time together. So getting up early for us, that works for us. We're able to open up the calendar. What's on the calendar? Okay, I have consultations at 10 a.m., 2 o'clock. Okay, our daughter's open house is at 4. All right, this and that. What are we doing in between? What do we have to do? So what do you guys, do you guys have like a ritual yeah. or that morning time that where you guys sync up and, you know, and, and get your day yeah. set right? Yeah, yeah, I feel like the coffee is always the first thing, oh, yeah. right? Yeah, right. I know if Bobby's on here, he'll be so proud of us. Uh, but that's I told Bobby, I said, I've been doing this before. I heard you say it, Bobby, right? I'm a vet to this. I've been doing it for years. Fellas, uh, take notes. That, that cup of coffee in the morning will change your life. <laughs> but uh, that's one of the first things that we do. And again, we got three kids, too. Now they're 10, 12, and we have our first teenager uh, on the 7th of September. Actually, we're going to miss her birthday. We're going to be at Power World. But we were working that together. You know, in the morning, we'll have some coffee. Uh, we got a nice little side deck area in our home that we'll, we'll do a little grounding outside, let the dog run around, um, you know, and, and just really be grateful, right, babe, in the morning. Like, we got this, like, gratitude for our home and how peaceful it is. And yeah. you could tell a little more from there. Yeah, no, I mean, I feel like, and another thing we do, too, like, for, for us, since we're, we're both, um, my, well, kids started school now. So obviously everything changes. We got to be up earlier now. Um, but we try to give ourselves that time in the morning, not rush into, you know, the next thing and the next thing and the next thing, but like giving ourselves time to plan. And we look at the calendar together while we're having coffee. Hey, this is going on today. Who's going to yeah. handle that? Who's going to handle this? And we already know how the day is going to go. A lot of times we'll have meals, you know, planned. Things are in the crock pot right. early in the morning because it yeah. all plays a part. Um, you know, it all really, even though it's it's separate personal business, it's, it's really all together when you look at it. And so you really need that support on both ends to be able to operate at 100% production. You touched on there, even the meals prep. Like, well, well, you know, we try our best to. It's not easy. It's, I'm not going to say 100% of the time we do it, but... Hey, look, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, around these days, this is what I know that my wife needs to eat before a certain time or I need to eat before a certain time. And we'll we'll schedule that out as well as much as we can. So it's just it's just easier. You know, right now we know we're going to have this for dinner today. The kids are going to be here. They might not be here. You know, we're coming back from Miami. We're coming back from San Diego. Like all of that stuff is kind of mapped out as much as possible. And if the justice needs to be made, we communicate it together. Hey, look, this changed out. Hey, this customer canceled out. We have room for another call. We want to fit it in here. You know, all of those kind of things. And we'll, we'll start it off in the morning like a team huddle. It's like a team huddle at the at your job. Like right now we got started. Everybody got their coffee. That's how I used to be at the bank. I get my cup of coffee. Everybody comes to the middle. How many appointments you got? Six, five, four. Cool. All right. Well, this is the time we go on break. This is the time we're going to go. It's the same thing. You got to treat it as a business and, and it's harder to treat it as a business when you don't got a boss, you're the boss. So right now we, we get away from the job, but that structure of having that team meeting, if it's with your wife, if it's with your team and having that schedule put together, you're going to be more successful that way, period. Awesome guys. Um, I think there's another question or two here. Basically someone's asking about chamber of commerce. Okay. Uh, it's more business to business based. Have you got referrals out of it? And I just want to say that I, I think it should be one of the pieces of the puzzle. It's Correct. not a short term game. It's the reputation. It's the events. It's the networking, who you get to meet there. It, it's not like instant gratitude. It should be one of the little pieces of the puzzle. But do you guys kind of relate to that? Or do you look at chamber? 100%. And a hundred percent. We do. I mean, we're part of that. We're part of, like I said, I'm part of a women's in Tampa. No. They power gals networking, a whole separate entity. Right. Um, we are, we're, we try to go to every red ribbon cutting we can. We're supporting local businesses. I mean, that, like you said, it's just a part of it. We don't, re we don't rely a hundred percent on our leads on like that chamber, but the connections that we make and the credibility that's it. We just want to yeah. build the credibility within the city that we're in. Um, and that's just a piece of it. So yeah, to your point, that that was perfectly answered. 
Um, okay. and, and you do, yeah, it's business to business, but we, we, everyone knows we're residential solar and oh. when, when they, they, they'll know who to call at that time. The other thing too, I'll jump in here. It's a great, great training for the both of you. You know, mm -hmm. would you rather take a picture of yourself or, you know, shoot a video of yourself sitting at your desk at home? Or would you rather do it with a whole bunch of local business leaders all in the background at a chamber meeting, right? Yeah. And that goes to that credibility too. The support that you give, that's the local community. So right now I'm a part of the chamber of St. Petersburg. That's where I grew up here in Florida. And these are a lot of lo local, you know, business owners that when they have their ribbon cut and we show support, I'm not there to sell them solar. I'm not there. No, I'm here as a chamber member to show you support. And obviously that comes with social media content that, that comes with the credibility. And then the next time you host something, now that support is being thrown your way, you know, and building those relationships. You could go a month, two months, three months without getting any deals from that BNI or from, you know, that that chamber of commerce. But you built genuine relationships So, because everyone has their season. You know, people got to trust you. You can't just go into an organization and automatically everybody's going to throw you referrals. No, they got to do a one on one meeting with you. You got to show up to some of the red ribbon kinds that don't have nothing to do with your business. You got to show face. You have to expose. You have to support them as well. And then all of that will reciprocate. It'll come back your way overflow if you if you did that for 100 other members in your chamber. And then think about the database, right? Jonathan, you could talk about this, the database that you have access to in, in the chamber and the BNI. You know, it's not just one group. That's thousands of people. Right now, I could go in and look at for electricians, roofers, Anybody who's in that chamber, give them a call. Hey, I'm, I'm a new member to the chamber. I want to build a relationship with you guys. This is what I do. Obviously, you could see that. Uh, how long have you been in business? I just want to know more about you guys. That's it. And from there, it can, can, the referrals will come. That's huge. Yeah. Chamber has events. You can email every member in the chamber. Um, it's it's really invaluable what you can get out of the chamber. Oh. All right. So how big is just curious, how big is the team now? One year in? Uh <laughs> at, at I think, think five fifty. Fifty, I think. Yeah, five hundred and fifty people so far. If I'm not mistaken. Independent consultants under the team. Uh, revenue share passively each week must be thousands and thousands of dollars. Um, what is like your first three action items you give to new people when they sign up? Like what is those? two or three things you're like, you just, we have to get them this and like, they will be good. What does that look like? Yeah, honey, take it away. <laughs> um, I think I, 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 I focus more on the ambassador immediately. Like, don't try to know everything. Don't try to sell people anything. Um, yeah. And I think that that's big. Use the ambassador, just share what you're doing. Tell them that you pay for referrals. You're, you're really not coming at them with it, you know, direct. Um, and I, I learned that through obviously a lot of you guys, but events, I mean, if you're not on training, you're missing out. And the other day I reached out to a girl I enrolled and I'm like, you told me you wanted to change your life. You no. wanted this. You wanted me as a mentor. I have not seen you on one training. Oh, wow. are, you, are you taking this serious? And so for me, if you're not on events, if you're not on training, if you're not you know, if, if you're not committing yourself, that's a big red flag for us, you know, that you really, you really are not doing what you came here to do. There's no way to learn if you're not plugged in, that's what we call it. Yeah. Um, and then we focus on the seven fundamental skills. We train them in, out, finding prospects, presenting uh, third party, you know, using third party tools, using videos, um, not trying to be the expert you know, and introduce them to us, use us, you know, if you have someone interested in the opportunity, use us, use the tools. Um, and we just focus on those seven key skills of follow up and how to onboard someone properly, how to get a homeowner to become a seller eventually. So those right. seven skills is, is what we train in and out. And then, you know, then we try to throw our tips and, and what we do to have our personal success, like social media, we're really big on social media. Um, so that's really where I would start. Plug in, plug into your mentors. We have oh, yeah. amazing people that are doing amazing things with Empower. And to be honest, it wasn't until we went to convention that we really caught the vision. Yeah. So for us, that's really what changed everything. 
And that's I think, a good point. And I think someone asked something about network marketing in the chat too. What was that question, Jonathan? It, it, Anthony Bonilla comes from network marketing, JC Rangal, and, and yeah. some of us know that you guys have some network marketing background. And Anthony <laughs> was wondering, what was it that attracted you when you saw power <laughs> based on your background? Like what yeah. was it that, that got you hooked? So, so five, we did network marketing for five years. Um, it, it completely changed our life. So we already saw the value of it. And knowing that power is not necessarily network marketing, but it's a share revenue plan. We understood that. But <laughs> we always studied, you know, there's a Harvard study out there on network marketing. And it does show that the first 100,000 representatives in the company pretty much have the big lion's share of ownership of that company. Yeah. And, and after 100,000 reps, uh, that's really when the company is considered to be in momentum. That's and true. they've done these studies on many network marketing companies. And when we went to Power World for the first time, yeah. and, you know, we were like, this room is, you know, we came from events where there was, thousands of people yeah. being a couple hundred we said to ourselves we are at the foundation and we all are still if you Absolutely. think about it we're not at the hundred thousand so, reps so early so early we're uh, so early so a year ago when me and rob instantly as soon as <laughs> we walked in the room we looked at each other and said we are oh, like yeah. it literally gives me the chills to this day we are like at the foundation of this yeah. company. And in our other company, we were also at the foundation. And five years later, we're million dollar earners. So we understand yeah. the value of timing and positioning in this type of company. And uh, just to touch on that a little bit more, because, you know, when I remember us being on the stage at the convention as a testimonial um, and just looking, everybody probably thought it was so negative because I was shaking my head. So I'm like, oh man. There's 500 people in here, 600 people at the at the convention. Our, our events used to have 10,000 people in it, um, 20,000 people in it. And we, you know, we built a team of about five 5,000 plus in that prior business. And it took years learning from the beginning, like just zero. You know, we, we both didn't come from this at all. But seeing the opportunity here that there's only 8,000 sellers nationwide. And out of those 8,000 sellers, who's really putting in the work? Like you think about how early we really are. The, I remember when we went to the leadership uh, meeting out there in San Diego, and I seen there was like 150 mentors. I was like, what? Like, you know how early we are? I'm standing on the stage next to Jonathan. And I'm like, oh man, like this is, this is unreal, bro. Like we were just watching you guys a year ago and just to show you what you can do in 12 months, what you could do in 12 weeks of really working this bit. Like if you if you focus on that and know that look, I, the time is ticking, people are going to hear about us with or without you. Like it's going to hit 100,000 people. Look what EXP did. We're not even public yet. Like I get excited about that stuff only with a year background here. So I can imagine what the next three to four years is going to look like. But that's only for people who playing on the court. We learned that over this past weekend. You either in the stands watching the game being played or you on the court playing. Like, we're playing. Like, I don't know all the rules to the game yet, but put me on the court. Let me shoot, right? And we're going to learn how to develop um this thing together. So, and I appreciate all of you guys. You all had a part of this. We, we studied all of you, you know, and we're grateful that we've had leaders like you guys to pave the way. And because you don't have to do this. People have to understand that you guys don't have to do this. Y'all take a time out of your business, out of your day from your family to provide information for us to grow. People take that for granted. And just know from me and my wife, we don't. We take, we, you know, we fully appreciate what you guys have put in and, and the time that y'all put in prior to us being here to be at this point as a, as a company together. So I appreciate y'all. Wow, I think on that note, mic drop, both of you guys just brought some freaking heat right now. Um, I think that, that, that'll be a little bit of a wrap to this training. I'll stop the recording right now in a second. But again, huge shout out to the two of you guys. Give them some love in the chat. You can see why with that mindset and that frame and that mentality, like they're just going to dominate. And 
to think that we're at the beginning and have that motivation. I hope you feel that. I know you do. I appreciate you guys giving back to this community. Um, and it just makes me realize we need more of this kind of energy, this <laughs> badass energy in the room. So thank you both so much for taking the time to give back today to all of us. Yeah, thank you guys. Thank Love you. it. <laughs> Cannot wait to link up at Power World. You know it's yeah. on fire. Oh, Let's go. <laughs> Yeah, there's more to come at Power World for sure.